one week, so you have plenty of time to really collect a lot of information, a lot of moves, steps, whatever you want to call it. I call tango. There is no step, it's a way of dancing, it's a way of moving, but it's most of all the feeling which we dance. Uh, I will start first of all what say the class today, salidas and variations. Uh, I don't know how much you understand how beautiful is a good salida. With the whole salidas, you can dance the whole night without wo worry or thinking about what step to do anymore. And that, I, re I really recommend you to be very much attentive to that because a good salida involves the whole time involve the walk in tango, involve the embrace, involve the cross of the lady, involve the sensuality of the lady, the elegance of Paul. Oh, maybe, I don't know, it's up to the teachers. Um, today, Gavito and, <laughs> Gavito and Marcela, uh, one of the themes will be Tango Show versus Tango Salon. And this will be one of the themes. Yeah. Okay? Good. Salon versus show. So, is anything to explain about that? What is a show? A show we sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is Tango Salon? We enjoy ourselves. Now, probably we need the tango salon or the tango, social tango to be professional tango dancers. But you cannot transfer that way around. A dancer cannot be a tango dancer without being a tango salon. Then the supposed to become a, a tremendous dancer like uh, Baryshnikov and he tried to dance tango. You remember what happened with Noriev when he did Valentino? You saw that film? You thought it was tango? <laughs> well, because he has a training as a ballet dancer, which is nothing to do with tango, simply because tango is a dance from the street, ballet from the school. And that brings the subject, why today people are so confused about. So, so really, uh, that is the conclusion of the difference between social dancer and tango dancer. The problem here is to please, please, uh, as, a, as a tango dancer, social tango dancer myself, Marcela myself, I ask you to try to avoid to be a tango stage when you want to be a tango social. Because the only thing you do is really do the ridiculous. And if you don't believe me, ask your best friend to film you. You go home, you close the door, be sure, close the curtains, be sure nobody is looking at, and then you watch yourself. And you will feel like we feel ashamed sometimes. So you try that. You see, there are movements which we maybe fault ourselves, teachers, sometimes we teach steps and moves, which only are for tango exhibition, for tango professional. Because we are in that training, for us it's, it's a simple thing. And then you see that, and the people in the milonga, and you say, my God, I teach that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how we learn to be teachers as well. <laughs> so, we teach ourselves seeing the mistake we do. Uh, my father was a bandoneon player when I was a little girl. So, I think he inspired me with the sound of the bandoneon. But, when I tell my family that I want to dance tango, my family says, No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Why? You have to embrace uh, men 
that maybe you don't even know the man. <laughs> one night we with all of these men. I say, I want no, because tango is not for lookers. <laughs> Walking, walk. 